All right, guys, welcome back. And today, today we are going to talk about the absolute best way to cool down your GPU memory temps. Stop replacing the thermal pads. It's a waste of money. And most times, in my experience on the 3080 Ti's and this notorious 3070 Ti, which is the subject of this video, thermal pad replacement and thermal paste replacement does not work on these cards. And thermal pads are not cheap. You get them from um, Amazon or you get them from GPU risers. Holy crap, you just get a couple little squares for 40 bucks. What a rip. So I got so sick of doing that, I go, I can't keep doing this. I'm mining to make money. I don't wanna keep spending money on crap that doesn't work and doesn't cool down these GPUs. And I'm like, okay, I'm on the T-Rex miner site and they recommend if you're running the latest stuff and you have hot cards, people say just get these copper plates. And this is a site, gpurisers.com. I'm not affiliated, I'm not sponsored, I'm not paid. I think it's just some guy that figured out that copper transmits heat better, dissipates heat better than the freaking cheap thermal pads that these companies put on and these aftermarket people sell. A waste of money, man. Don't buy the aftermarket thermal pads, you're throwing good money away. At the price of these copper pads, they, copper is less than the thermal pads and you never have to replace it again because it's copper my god anyway here you see my temps i'm running t-rex minor 0.25.12 the latest lhr unlock uh, i'm getting 64 mostly on this 3070t which is the most i've ever seen but look at that red that red is 110 celsius on the memory and i thought okay what's going on with that i've took it apart three times replaced the pads replaced the thermal paste nothing took off the back plate nothing nothing would work on this damn thing it would just keep burning hot although it doesn't feel hot when you get up behind the thing and if where the back plate was i don't know if that i thought maybe the the uh, sensor was bad it's just reading hot so i had these uh one copper plate order for the 3070 ti and i said okay it's a couple weeks to come I said, I'm just going to give this a shot. I, then I get it uh, today. And I'm thinking, I just don't want to take this damn GPU apart yet again. I just get tired of taking these things apart, even though I can do it like in a minute now. Once you do it a couple times, bam, you can, you can strip these things down with nobody's business. Here is the paste I got. So I said, all right, I'm just going to record this. I didn't want to record this damn thing because I'm so sick of these cards overheating. And I said, all right, I'm just going to brute for this for you guys, for my brothers out there, for my fellow miners. I decided to make a video to so, show you guys that, something you may already know, but it may save you money. Because like I said, you can buy, you can buy one of these uh, copper plates with the paste for like 37 bucks uh, at GPU, uh, was it coolmygpu.com? Or you can buy your own copper and cut it out. I don't know. Copper seems to be the secret sauce here. And you put thermal paste on both sides of it and it dissipates the heat. Uh, I said, okay, I'm gonna give this a shot. And tonight I said, all right, I'm gonna record this for you guys and see if this works. I wanna keep mining. I hate turning off any rig, any any GPU. Even though Ethereum mining as of, um, what are we, May 2nd, May 3rd today, is way down. And even after this weekend with the spike to the, the NFT drop. Yeah, Ethereum profitability is way down again. It's just not looking good. So I said, what the hell? Let's strip this GPU off the uh, off the uh, motherboard. It's sitting out in the open anyway on a test rig. And I said, let's just see it. Let's just strip this puppy apart. I'm leaving the back plate off because I don't care about the freaking back plate. It, you know, it's just for decoration and maybe protect this. Or, I don't care. So that's gone. And here I am just stripping this thing apart. Uh, makes it a lot faster. I could put the back plate on, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So I'm gonna strip this apart and I will take off the heat sink and I'm gonna slap on this uh, copper thermal plate. It's a plate, guys. And it's about three millimeter, no more than three millimeter thick. And it's cut out to a shape, wrap around the uh, chip on the GPU, covering the uh, memory chips. And you'll see, at first you're going, how does this work? Oh, I don't understand this. And basically you just apply some paste and you'll see this stuff. You apply some paste to the uh, memory chips and you apply some paste to the um, other side of the copper plate where the heat sink will touch. I probably put too much on, but I don't care. I just want to make sure I got it covered because I don't ever want to take this thing apart again 
this is either going to work or I'm going to say at least I tried and I made a video and I can say, yay, I helped the community, <laughs> and whether, a, up, 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 whether an up or down vote. And it's looking good so far. I just want to say that without spoiling the video, because wait till you see what happens at the end. You may be disappointed or you may be happy. Depends what camp you're in. If you sell thermal pads, you may be happy or you may be sad. If you sell copper plates, you may be happy or you may be sad. And if you have a card that's hot, hot memory, you may be happy or sad. I'm just trying to teach it because I want you to, I want you to watch the whole video. I watched a couple hours of a guy. Oh, I forgot his name. Oh shoot, he has millions of followers on YouTube. He strips down um, MacBooks, uh, logic boards, and he shows you the soldering. He explains the circuit diagram, the layout, and what things mean, the power, the voltage, the bus bar. I was, I was mesmerized by that, and I just sat there watching this guy. I'm going, man, I want to get into some MacBook repair. It looks kind of fun. So you just got the right tools, so you need a, you need a um, microscope and a decent uh, hot air gun and some flux and uh, a decent soldering gun. You need the right tools for the right job, otherwise you'll mess up an expensive laptop. But here we go. Taking this little bugger apart. Anyway, I can't even see what's going on here. Yeah, I'm going to clean it. I'm going to take off the uh, radiator, the uh, heat sink part. There's two parts. There's the one on the right. And then sitting right around that, right where my left hand is there, right around that CPU, that G, that processor, is the other heat sink. And then I'm just figuring out, well, how the hell does this thing go? Because there are no instructions. There is a YouTube video of the guy doing it, and that's it. But it didn't come with any paper instructions. And... And I'm like, well, what do I do with this stuff? <laughs> so I did read on the uh, T-Rex Discord to, and on the actual feedback page on the, what is it? Oh, my God. Callmygp.com. The guy just said, hey, man, I just simply put thermal paste on both sides of the copper plate, slapped it on there, put the heat sinks back on, and uh, turned it on. I said, all right. Some other guys did some more stuff, putting shim paper. I, no, 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 no. I don't want it to be difficult. It's got to be simple because I hate thermal pads. I'm not ever touching a thermal pad again, and I curse them. <laughs> Waste of money. Oh my God. Yeah, so this is great, man. You cut this out. I mean, you can go buy your own copper if you want. Depends on how many GPUs you have, but you know, you gotta have a press to, or a cutter to cut that out in a shape like that. I don't know how he cuts it. He might have a little laser cutter or a little uh, die that cuts them out. Who knows? I have no idea, but it works. It looks good, it fits, and uh, it's a it's an interesting product and something worth trying. Uh, let's see, so let's just let this rip. You're gonna see me fumble around like the idiot I am, and I'm just trying to figure stuff on my little monkey brain, and I eventually get it, and I'm gonna clean stuff off. I try to scrape it off first, the paste, and then I wipe it off with a uh, lint-free rag using isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol, 97% alcohol, I don't know what it is, I'm just here, I'm just trying to figure out how this thing goes, because I'm a total idiot, it's like I got to remove that last heat sink sitting right around the G, uh, the process unit, but this is for your entertainment pleasure, knowing that uh, there's an idiot out there that can do this, and then that means you guys can do it a lot easier, yeah, the next time I do this on my 3080 Ti's, you know, if I do it, it's going to take me like, 10 minutes.
Right, all right. Now we're at the point where we're going to start adding thermal paste and getting ready to add on the copper plate. The uh, cleaning is done. Cleaned off the old thermal pads, which were crap junk. And uh, I'm going to slap on the uh, new copper plate. First, I got to put thermal paste on the chips, put it on the processor, and I'll also add it to the copper plate. You'll see uh, that'll help. It can't hurt. So basically in the reviews, the guy said he just added it to both sides of the copper plate. Wham, bam, installed it and all was happy with the world. So here we go. That's where we're at. Sit back and enjoy the theatrical music as I play with thermal paste, hopefully for the very last time on this GPU, this 3070 Ti from the netherworlds. All right, guys, I'll be back in a few.
paste on. I got it all over my hands. I got it everywhere. Didn't make too much of a mess. I got it on both sides of the copper plate. And now I'm going to add on the baby heat sink, which goes around the processor unit on the board, the logic board. And once that puppy's on, line it up with those holes. Yeah, that's what she said. And um, then I will put the puppy back together, screw her down and reinstall it and see if this thing actually works. And yes, for all you GPU purists out there, I am leaving off the metal backplate off this 3070 Ti because I just don't care anymore. I'm sick of putting that thing on and uh, it doesn't really serve a purpose for me right now. The goal is to see if this copper plate will get the temps down so I don't have to worry about seeing 100 plus Celsius on the memory anymore. So that is the main goal and uh, stay tuned. We'll see what happens. All right.
All right, you little crypto bastards, we are back. We have the GPU installed. And for your reference, this is the site where I got the copper plate, coolmygpu.com. Again, I heard about it from the uh, T-Rex mining discord site. And I said, oh, okay, let me check this out. And it has a bunch of before and afters on temps and different cards. And I'll show you here which one I got for the 3070 Ti and the price. I suggest getting the thermal paste with it if you want to go ahead and order this. I still think he may, he's making these things yet. So if you just get the plate, it's 30 bucks. But, you know, the paste is going to cost you 14 bucks on Amazon. Why not get it from this guy? Help him out. And because uh, he's, he's doing a service to uh, the mining community. All right. So there is the site. Check her out, baby. And we're coming up. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for the unveiling? Let's count down. Seven. Six. Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> All right. We cranked it up with T-Rex Miner. 0.25.12. The latest with the LHR unlock. Uh, it is awesome. And we have a 3070 Ti cooking with gas right now. And we're about 63 mega hash. And what do you all see? What do you all see right now? We see power watt under 190, 180, typically between 170, 185. Not bad. But we see, look at that. We see temperatures, 44 on the outside and the memory temp, 62 Celsius. Holy crap. Thank you, Jesus, for letting me know about these copper plates. That was burning always consistently over 100 degrees Celsius. I slap on this copper plate, add some thermal paste to it, get rid of the old crap thermal pads, and I put this thing on there, which costs less than thermal pads from Amazon or GP Rogers or wherever, and I never have to replace this thing again. This is a win. This is the secret sauce that you need to find and use for your GPUs if your MEMS are above 100 and they're in the yellow or red. I mean, geez, I didn't think it was gonna go down by, uh, by uh, like 40, 40 degrees Celsius. I mean, I was pumping 104 on average and you saw in the video earlier when it started, rewind it right now, I will wait. I will wait if you doubt me. It said 110 Celsius. So looking good, this is a win. This is a huge win. So what I'm gonna do now, I have three LHR 3080 Ti's. Yeah, I'm the LHR turd that buys these LHRs, but thank God for T-Rex Miner that has the LHR unlocker. And I have three 3080 Ti's that burn hot as well, but not as hot as this little bastard card was. But now this little 3070 Ti has come home. He is well, he's cured. He, uh, he is a back 100%. He is a pure GPU once again. And he is mining for as long as he can mine Ethereum. Who knows, it might be a couple days yet till the, they drop the difficulty blammo on us, or it might be a six months. You never know with these stupid developers, because uh, yeah, they don't know what they're doing. They'll figure it out, but you know, nothing ever comes easy with software. So there we go, guys. Strongly suggest checking out coolmygpu.com. It's a win. It's a win, that's all I can say. All right, guys, I'm out, go forth. Two great things. Keep mining.